Hi guys, it's Alstrick. In this video, I'm quickly go over and talk the Karja Mail lifetime deal which is currently available as of now. Uh, the main reason is I have created a more in-depth video previously where I talked about alternatives, comparison, frequently asked what it is, all these things. But uh, during that time, I was new to the Karja Mail platform and I was not using that platform uh, already set up in a real use case. So far, I have been only using the uh, other product which is cream email and super happy with that and these guys are stable company so but at that moment kajja mail was still new to me so i had no idea what the way it works and everything but so far right now i have set up the kajja mail into my several projects and i have been already using it so i thought of creating a quick video now let me show you what are the things i am using it for how i am using it and what are the pros and cons which i learned throughout the process so without further ado, you can see this deal is going to be alive for next eight days. So basically, first thing I want to clear before moving forward on anything, they are plans. Uh, you need to understand that they don't restrict you by email counts or number of email accounts you can create, but they restrict you by either domain counts or the storage count and it's a double factor for example if you want to have more domains uh, more email accounts with space then you will get a lower storage uh, option for each account if you have want to have more storage option then you can use it for a limited uh, domain or email account so just remember that this these two will be always connected with it and also uh, they do have the option to upgrade storage or connect it to external all these things in future but remember uh, that is going to be an upgradable option not part of this ltd and also this 20 gb storage means that uh, for all these e uh, email accounts you are going to create it's going to be part of this 20 gb GB storage. It does not mean that for each account you are going to get 20 GB storage. So just remember this is so not super uh, too much space on email account. It's restricted. That's why I think uh, for them they are giving lifetime deal. But do remember for example if you are using something like Gmail or Outlook they tend to give around 15 GB for free email account and 5 uh, GB I think for Outlook. But just remember that when you come to lifetime deal hosting with Karja email, the space is going to be limited. So make sure that you know, uh, you can set it up wisely. For example, I where yeah, I use Karja mail is still I'm not using Karja mail in my uh, most important project. For example, still I prefer to use uh, Zogo or G Suite whenever that makes sense. For example, Zogo, I really happy with the paid plan. I don't use free plan because SMTP is not available in free plan, which is important for me. So I'm using Zogo paid plan for most important projects. I prefer G Suite since it's easy for cloud, uh, cold call, emailing and all this stuff. Where I use Kajja Mail right now is that I generally from previous video, you know that I don't like to host my emails in cPanel. I have this, the risks associated with it. So I tend to like to have a dedicated email uh, for any of my important project. During that time, what I would ideally do is go with Zoho email because it is cheaper monthly price compared to Outlook or a G suit but with Karja mail what now I can essentially do is I can avoid that recurring cost monthly with this lifetime deal option where I don't need a lot of spaces I only need an ideal stable solution so until this projects get really big or really important for me to switch into G suit or something like that I can set it up in Karja mail and I can forget about it no need to pay the bills and everything that is the use cases for me right now where I'm not concerned about having a lot of spaces so if you are wanting to have a lot of spaces then you need to rethink this deal and see whether other alternative options are available or the highest plan or upgrade option but if you are fully concerned make sure that you understand the deal uh, limits and uh, storage limits that's the important one i wanted to mention so without further ado now let me directly jump into the dashboard where 
this is the membership dashboard there is going to be hiding a lot of hiding happening here because i'm using real uh, data so i probably will blur out this uh, some part of the video basically you have the option uh, you can create uh, you can see that i have created three different projects these are my projects which are important but at the same time it's not too much critical uh, do project still it's not uh, reached its maturity during that time i will be transferring to g suit or something like that personal preference for example i'm using in a couple of my startup uh, projects and also my personal domain in this case i will be showing you from my personal domain aspect of it uh, i i need to re-log in it let me do that sorry about it guys and if i come here and go to the Alston Anthony and this uh, section and here it will show you how I set it up uh, the first thing it shows the information on how much I have uh, what domain you can see I have set up 50 MB limits uh, it's more than enough for me and the reason I choose uh, the lowest uh, amount is that I found out during my pro uh, setting up process that we can't actually decrease uh, space once we have set it up but we can increase it if we want that is the reason i tend to set it for a low amount so in case uh, if i whenever i want i can expand it further like add another 50 mb or something like that until that time i uh, i prefer to set it in a lower uh, limit area and you can see uh, mailbox limit this is just a number of mailbox it just shows the overall domain how many for example in my use case still i haven't used sub accounts or broadcast feature because it's not necessary for me and also i haven't created sub email accounts so far that's why you are seeing just one domain because i'm using this for the internal project still not giving it to clients or team access also we generally tend to have a unified email for the communication for the projects when I go to the domain setup, I followed all this stuff and created uh, the domain record. It is super easy. Uh, it's com it seems complex, but this uh, instruction is very clear. You can get it up. And one thing I need to say that uh, Kerja email support is really amazing. For example, uh, I can't see the history because I'm using a different browser. But whenever I had a doubt, they always go out of the way to explain, clearly give all the instruction. And they have a lot of support staff also. For example, 16 different support it shows. And so far, they have been really great at support. And you will get email notifications also regarding your support. So their support is really good so far. And I have incurred a couple of problems. Possibly, I could say it has bugs but they did help me with uh, all the inquiries as much as possible and you can see i have created a mailbox for example i have this is my uh, this is actually works if you want to test it out you can send an email from here when i reply it from here you can see that it's using a kerja mail so you can see whether the email is getting on land on spam box or anything like that so feel free to shoot me a message and i'll reply you back and i have a couple of options i can create a different email box under this domain if i want for example you can see i can start creating it here or i have a couple of options whether uh, uh, if I want, I can create app passwords. What app passwords means is uh, rather than I come here and go to the webmail, which I don't use it like that, I have connected this email account in my Thunderbird email. I'll show you guys my setup also. Uh, and also I've been using this particular uh, uh, email connected with my website SMT also. I'll show you that also. So I can create a uh, new app password. I can give it, I can give a name. And instead of my using my main account, I can give an exclusive app password for that. So whenever I want to remove that access or anything like that, I just come here and I can delete that and that password will no longer be valid. So I can do that. And if I go into the edit, now you can see this is what I was talking about. Where now I can uh, create more uh, 
use uh, as uh, space as much as want but i can't reduce it uh, the passwords are your recovery email uh, this is something which you can use for in case you forget the password you can do that but you can come here and change make any changes also if you have admin access i can delete it also alias is something like that for example um, this is not exclusive mailbox but rather uh, I don't want to create a e separate mailbox, but whenever I receive any emails for this particular ID also, forward them to this main address. So we can control that also. For example, this is my uh, a main email address, but still some people will just, um, even if I couldn't find the email, they might use just contact at alstonantony.com. In that case, what I've done is created an alias and make sure to set it up to go to this one. You can create my other multiple aliases. Everything is from here. Uh, let's see. For some reason, it's loading right now. So you can create it from here. So that is the basic setup of uh, the usage. Now there are two more important functionality. First, this is how we use a uh, configuration. Let me fill up this password. And let me also show you the webmail first. This webmail, I don't use it at all. For example, uh, the reason is it's not viable for me. I have around 20 different email accounts to check all this stuff and I really don't like to come onto each webmail to check it. I have a unified setup. I'll show you. Basically, this is the webmail. In case if you want to have, want to have a web layout, this is really good. It's based off round cube. You also have several other options. For example, if you go into the settings, uh, you can have different uh, theme styles. And also you can set up signature, all these things. For example, these are viewing, uh, let me show you the signature section. And if I go inside here, you can see you can set up your own signature here. You can come and copy paste all this. Uh, you can set up pretty much everything from here. So based on that, you can also set up filters out of message. This is good, but I generally don't use this webmail functionality. What I use uh, Karja mail as, I come to this particular page which is a mail configuration page where it tends to give out me uh, my all the uh, email uh, configuration option for example uh, click on here and you go inside it and here you have specific uh, guide option for each uh, clients but if you come into the manual you get the details on how you want to add if you want to imap you use these two details pop3 these two smtp these two so this is how you can use this for example i have used this inside my uh, alstonantony.com uh, with a custom uh, SMTP server you can see I have set up these stuff and this email is uh, connected using SMT so whenever now the contact form in my website is used it will use rather than the default cPanel uh, email configuration for example this page uh, instead of using that page uh, e email smt server it will use the kerja mail email smt server to send me message so that is how i use that smt people uh, detail and also how i have done for my uh, thunderbird option is uh, here you can see i have connected uh, let me see uh, check on where i am give me a second you can see here that i have set up the uh, Kerja mail here also from where I have set it up using this and it checks on this if I go into the server settings you can see the server settings detail now then now I now I can simply use this email with my uh, Thunderbird I don't need to log into their web mail you can also connect it to your Gmail or any other platform but I personally have unified inbox with my Thunderbird uh, bird mail so I use like that so that's how currently I'm using Kerja mail just thought to share you guys all the personal experience of using uh, if you have any questions just let me know i will answer it and if you just want to test it out send me a test email i'll reply back once again thank you so much and i hope you have a great day cheers